Muscle soreness and achy joints are common symptoms for COVID-19 patients, but for an unknown reason, those symptoms are more severe and long-lasting in certain people. They can cause rheumatoid arthritis flare-ups, autoimmune issues, or what's become known as COVID toes. For the first time, a new study has been able to confirm and illustrate the actual causes. And joining us now to explain is Dr. Swati Deshmukh from Northwestern University. Good morning to you, Dr. Deshmukh. Nice to have you on. Good morning. Nice to be here. So this is really good because so many questions about what's been happening with the lingering effects of COVID-19. So tell me how radiological imaging is playing a role in this. Sure. So throughout the pandemic, my team and I have seen many patients with COVID-19 who develop complications in their arms and in their legs. I use advanced imaging technology, such as high-resolution ultrasound or 3D MRI, to look at the muscles and nerves and joints that have been affected. What we have found is that in many patients with COVID-19, sometimes an autoimmune reaction is triggered. Okay. What that means is that the virus can trick the body into attacking itself. Okay, I'm looking at this x-ray. I hope you can see it. Tell me what we're looking at right there. What, what have you detected? Sure, so these are actually MRI okay. images. And the first image you had up was a shoulder, and that was showing some inflammation. There's synovitis okay. of the joint, which is what the red arrow is pointing to. And that was an autoimmune reaction that led to inflammation in the joints. So it's, it's gonna be long lasting. Okay. The other picture you had up was of the foot, which shows gangrene of the distal foot. Wow, okay. So my question is, are these reactions happening in people who were already susceptible because they had these conditions to begin with? Or is this also happening to healthy people who never had any issues with this? So it certainly can happen to people who have a genetic predisposition, meaning maybe someone in their family has a history of autoimmune disease. But for some people, it's just completely out of the blue and they, they didn't have any expectation or any family history of such things. Okay, so that is concerning. So. How can this imaging help in the treatment of COVID, specifically for people who are being, now being called long haulers with these prolonged issues sticking around for months and maybe even a year? Sure, so for patients where COVID-19 is triggering these muscle, joint, and nerve pains that are long lasting, the clinical picture can be challenging and may require expert consultation from a radiologist. A radiologist like myself is a doctor who specializes in diagnosing and treating patients with imaging, which can range from anything from x-ray to CT to MRI to ultrasound to even mammography. Radiologists use different types of imaging modalities to look inside the body and figure out what's going on, almost like the Sherlock Holmes of the medical team. Okay. Based on what the imaging shows, we can recommend the next step. So if someone right now is watching from home and experiencing muscle or joint pain long after they've recovered from COVID, what is your recommendation and what should they do? The best thing to do is to speak with your primary doctor. He or she can do a full medical assessment and initiate the appropriate next steps, which may include imaging such as MRI or ultrasound. I know that for some people, this process might seem long and complicated, but radiologists like myself are here and we're more than happy to guide other doctors and patients with their imaging needs. I'm so glad you came on this morning because I think there are a lot of people who have lingering effects and they're not always sure if it's just them. Should they do something about it or can they do anything about it? So I think this was an important discussion and I want to thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you. Okay, have a great day.